It's all in Amy's update. Amy and Sean, 1027 VGS. I thought this was really cool. I'm not sure if they've ever done it before, but Glamour Magazine, they always have Woman of the Year, and they actually um, had four of them this year, and they're all celebrities' moms, which I think is so cool. So Beyonce's mom, Billie Eilish's mom, Selena Gomez, and Travis and Jason Kelsey's mom, all Glamour Mag's Woman of the Year. That's cute. So cute. Yeah, yeah. They're... Um, their uh, spread was really cute. Their pictures, the interviews were awesome. They did both video and um, and for the print. And it was really awesome. I thought that was a really cool idea. I got to look back to see if they've done anything. I know they do have done different cool things like that, but having having five or four moms. Was was Beyonce's mom her manager or was that her dad? Her dad. Ah, her mom was the stylist. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, they've all played a role in who they became. Yeah. Some parents are not as much of a role. They seem to be very... Right, and they, and when asked, um, like, if they get noticed on the street, obviously Beyonce's mom does, and obviously um, Travis and Jason Kelsey. But Selena Gomez's mom said she rarely gets noticed, and more so Selena's little sister and dad. She's like, and I'm cool with it. Yeah, Because I'm great. in sweatpants, sunglasses, and a ponytail all the time. So <laughs> the, the least I have to get ready is, the, is better for me. Yeah. Hey, Kim Kardashian is trying to get the Menendez brothers out of the slammer and prosecutors are reopening the case, they think. So uh, I think it came out last week. It's called Monsters. It's a Netflix uh, sh- uh, docu-series on the Mende- Menendez brothers. And Kim Kardashian said they are absolutely not monsters. If you don't know the story, they killed both their mom and dad 35 and they, they, years ago? They did do it, right? Yeah, they said they've done it, but they said that he, the dad sexually abused them for years and the mom knew it. And there are, there's new evidence of that being true. So they're trying to reduce, reverse the life sentence and letting them out. And I guess the COs are, they all love the guys and they say that, um, that they would be neighbors with the Menendez brothers. No kidding. Because they're like good, smart men now at 50 or in their 50s. And so they I said really that they like should get that out. Menendez boy. He's a good boy. How crazy. Um, so, okay, are we just like, you know, just curious, because I think uh, with the other case there, what was the other murder mom case there? Which one? Murder uh, mom. Uh, the, 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 the girl that's famous now, uh, the, Gypsy Rose. Oh, Gypsy Rose. So, we're just, so, like, if we don't like our parents, now, obviously, well, the, you're allowed to kill them? Is that what happens? Well, no, but um, this, this from what I, the new evidence is saying that Jose Menendez was a terrible, terrible person and abused the whole family for years. Sure. So... So would that get it knocked They're down from like... They're saying a life sentence. They've already been in there for 35 years. That's a long time. Yeah, I mean, yeah. so maybe it's not murder one and instead it's like manslaughter. Well, yeah, it was... Yeah, so we'll see. Yeah. But yeah, the, they're all saying... Uh, time to let them out and they are going to have a hearing on November 29th or somewhere around there. So that is very, very interesting. Um, the uh, Casamigos party, Halloween party that everybody looks forward to, not happening. George Clooney and Randy Gerber, they couldn't get their schedules together. I look forward to that because of all the really awesome costumes that all the celebrities wear. Yeah. I, thought that. Were, I thought you were invited. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, I wish. Every year. I, I really, truly wish. And lastly, I was absolutely shocked when I saw this yesterday. There were claims that Garth Brooks, or he was being sued by a former makeup artist who claims that he um, sexually abused her in a hotel room. And he very quickly responded, because I'm like, I don't believe it. I've met him multiple times, and yeah. I'm like, I don't, I cannot, cannot think that's true. I will be devastated. And he said, this is absolutely not true. This is outlandish. And she has been um, harassing him, I guess, for some months trying to get money out of him. Mm -hmm. And so he has a bunch of evidence of her saying, give me a check or I'm going to tell everybody this. And he said, go ahead and tell them that never happened. I'm not paying you any money. So we will see what happens, but I cannot let that be true. Garth Brooks (laughs) is probably one of the sweetest celebrities I've ever met in my entire Higher life. I mean, there are. Everyone's capable of something, but I've. Li- I don't think I've ever heard a negative word about Garth. Brooks. About no, about ever. him and Trisha Yearwood and the the allegations that I was reading. I'm like, not Garth. There's no. It's it's bad. Yeah. And he said, no. She's been she's been trying to do this for a while. We knew it was going to come so out. So Trisha knew too. Yeah. 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 Crazy. Wow.